or whatever. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining my session. Uh, this session, I will explain one of the new software development concept called it XLAB, Extreme Rapid Application Development Method. In Japanese, it's called it Chou Kousoku Kaihatsu Shuho. Yeah, XLAB appeared approximately in 2010 or something like that. Yeah, my company has started to work with Universal Shell Programming Laboratories a few years ago. So USP is the fastest growing mid-size software vendor. <coughs> they are developing enterprise system for from small size companies to large size companies using shell scripts and commands. That is one of the XR method. And USP's development period is very, very short. And, <coughs> and the system developed by the USP is flexible for changes. A concept of USB method is very unique. So the concept of the USB method is the same as a Unix philosophy 40 years ago. So USB has found that 40 years old software philosophy is an essential idea for enterprise system development. From that point, they have advanced their enterprise system development method based on the Unix philosophy, simply and honestly. Well, on the personal note, this is another story. Our company, Angus, has developed the enterprise system in the past few years using shell scripts and commands too. And our development method has been changed after we met the USB. Right now, we are developing a new development method. We called it the TTT development method, including our original ideas, USB's concept, and a BSC style philosophies. About TTT, I will say a little more at the last of this session. This is another story. Well, back on the topic. The concept of new method of USB is very simple. The coding is very simple. and it is a wide application. Key points are how to view issues, how to understand the issues, how to deploy some files and directories, and what tools and commands you should to choose to use. Uh, eventually, after explanation, I will show you how to call the enterprise system using this method. The sample is a very simple sales report system. Yeah, let's get started. Mm? Oops. Mm. Oh. Introduction. I'm Dash Goto. My job is enterprise software system design, development, and maintenance. IT consulting. I do related and use lighting every day. I did books at magazine writing, etc. My company, our company is Angus. We found at 2002, it is a very small company. And a basic consulting. This consulting at Tokyo is founded approximately two years ago. This company is specialized for BSC related jobs. For example, we have concluded with NAC to verify previously working, previously working on their Lachman servers. The Lachman server MSC Express 8500 series. In other cases, we provide BSC education program, consulting and BSD deployment and its maintenance. Yeah, if you are considering uh, Lachman servers or tower style servers, please consider MSC Express Five five by zero zero series. So we can provide you high load test results and what version of FreeBSD could work well on the NSC Express release. 
And in some cases, we can provide you fixed kernel modules or fixed kernel itself. On the BSC Consulting website, we are uploading some FreeBSD hardware verification labels. So if you have interested in, please look at www.bsconsulting.co.jp. Yeah, sorry, that is in Japanese only. In summary, first I will introduce a new software, the Ableton Method XLAD. And uh, XLAD is not a particular development method. XLAD is a general word like no SQL. That is, including some concepts and some products. In the session, I will pick up one of the XLAT, Unicage Software Development Method. That is great with BSC operating system. Unicage is not excellent with enterprise software system development, but also great with some um, from small tools making to big data treatment. In fact, the method achieved the uh, rapid effect in, in real enterprise system fields that effectively is a problem. Excellent. Yeah, extremely rapid application development method appeared at 2010 in Japan and debuted on press conference at 2013. They announced it XLAD community in the press conference. Objective of XLAD community is to achieve high productivity, high flexibility, and high quality of enterprise system. The community of cons consisted by app and current business managers of a uh, couple dozen software vendors and their clients. Yes, I know, you are thinking why. Behind this background, there is a issue of lower labor productivity in Japan. Uh, Japanese labor productivity is low relative to their GDP. In many cases, their productivity depends on the individual effort. Uh, for example, after hours work without pay, take out jobs, or something like that, their business quality is not dealing with changes very easily. In software industry, the situation is more terrible. XLAB's main objective is to improve this dire situation. Universal Shell Program Laboratory as one of the original XLAD member, community members. Well, we have, I have worked with ESP. Yeah, yeah, I call them USP from now on. With USP a few years ago, USP's method looks like ridiculous. It looks like ridiculous for more software engineers first time. However, more you know, you will find that their method is awesome, logical, and practical approach. USP's method is called it Unicage Software Development Method. In the session, I will introduce Unicage. And the session time is limited, so I cannot explain everything of Unicage. However, you can obtain some document movies in English via online. At last, I will describe the documents and the movies URL. Yes, Unicage. Mm. It is good to read document of Unicage at Wikipedia as a first learning step, but that is a Japanese only. Uh, USB provided in English contents at en usp usp lovecom en usp lovecom If you have some interested in Unicage, go to USB's English page. Belief overview, tutorials, movies, documentation, case examples, big data treatment, how to use sample instances, etc. you can obtain. Yes, Unicage is one of the XLAD methods. 
UCI has developed it mainly for their enterprise system development. The Unicage is not a defined programming coding style, but also about how to make some requirement de definitions, how to communicate with clients, how to organize development team, how to deploy servers, how to deploy files and directories, how to name some files and directories, how to use the commands and shell scripts, how to document, and how to finish the work as soon as possible. From programmer's view, Unicage is command, pipeline, command, pipeline, command, pipeline, command, pipeline, command, pipeline, blah, 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 redirect to files. That's it. I think that source code description is a better way to introduce all of you to, uh, about the Unicage approach. Uh, First, from programmer's view, main aspect of Unicage is that there is no middleware, no middleware. There is no relational database. Unicage uses the Unix commands like awk, set, grep, tear, cat, head, tail, cut, and customize the command used to be made. They prefer to avoid uh, to avoid to use the use if syntax, while syntax for syntax, variables, and shell script functions. They prefer to use space separated text files, simple commands, pipelines, redirects, and files. And their programming flow from up to down. Yeah, looking at the real shell script, we have to understand. And USB is calling next page shell script and application. This is application. And the three lines join their key, one master and says, master and says uh, space separated text files. Master is corresponding to the master table of relational database, and sales is corresponding to transaction table of relational databases. Mass is master, sales are transaction. In this application, set and cat are Unix commands. Exit is shell built-in command. Join the self, SM2, SM4, map, keta, camera, and to CSV or Unicage original command. USB called the original command, USB scubai. Scubai is approximately from 50 to 100 selected commands. From several thousands of commands, they developed it in past. Scubai commands has, have bold, bold unity they work mainly in a role in enterprise system development field. Yeah, they called it. Folks who passed the Unicage examination seminars and a certification exam as Unicage engineer. Good Unicage engineers write very small scripts, very small shell script. Indications of a good shell script is a number of printed papers. All scripts with the in uh, one A4 uh, A4 sized papers is good. Unicage application is very short, simple, lean, no if, no repeat, minimal variables. This is uh, some of the Squai command sample. There is some kind of commands. SQLite commands operational database, I.O. relative commands, arithmetic commands, text data formatted commands, etc. Yeah, we always use uh, um, around 100, 100 commands. In addition, uh, addition, this is an important point. There is some custom commands for certain clients only, such clients only. This is one 
key point of UNCAGE. Clients and their project have specialized concepts only for their business. Unix commands and took by commands cannot cover the client specialized command concepts. So, early stage of system development, Unicage engineer should find client specialized concept and kick around the need to make new commands only for their clients. That's the one thing that's real important, really important. Took by commands as a client specialized commands has only one future, a future for each others. Only one future works well. And no options as possible. So and a programming language to develop their commands uh, C and assemblers in common cases. Yes, uh, there are open source version. USP is releasing open source licensed written version of USP. Uh, uh, by, open USP Tsukubai written in Python. Open USP Tsukubai is one of the uh, public relations tools for USP, but it works well for business use. I imported Open USP Tsukubai into port correction, so you can install via PKG or ports. And at the moment, manual of open USB by is in Japanese only, but uh, it contains many common samples. So I think you can understand what the common do does. Uh, the Unicage Engineers communication site, UEC, uec.usp-lab.com, hosts only manual of the USB by. So if you have interest in, the, in this comments, go to uec.usp-lab.com and Google Translate it. It may help you. Next, I show you a more complex. Is there, are there any shell versions available? Shell versions? Shell versions of the software, or just Python? Uh, Python versions. Yeah, some comments. Let in, in shell script. And, and, and the original also is now developing OpenUSP Tsukubai in Haskell. Haskell version is very, <laughs> very crazy fast. And next, I show you a more complex Unicage application. This is an application worker CDI. Uh, this application received an action command via HTTP POST. A DD leave the post data and a CGI name analyze that data. The action is search or update. And search from transaction file or update the transaction data file. In most cases, Unicage use HTML and browsers as their user interface. HTML is just a text file. Receive data via HTTP POST or GET method. Treatment some text data and output to HTML. Very simple CGI. In Unicage, so this is the important point. In Unicage, there are two, two kind of data. One is master and another is a transaction. Both text files and it is separated space, separated text files. USB calls them field file or field style. Field file is corresponding to table of relational database. To understand the master and the transaction is important. Master file should have at least one primary key column and it must be sorted by primary key. Master file is not updated at short intervals. For example, sales shop master, item master, customer master, employee masters, there are master files. Next, transaction. Transaction files, so yes, transaction file is not master file. Transaction will be updated at short intervals. <laughs> Primary key and sort. Not necessary. 
for example, sales data from post terminal, log data from communication devices, or transaction data. Yes, this is example of master and transaction files. And a food master and a store master is a master file. And first column is a primary key, a kind of item ID and store ID, and second column is its name. Sales are transaction files. First column is store ID. Second column is data and item it was sold. Third column is a kind of item ID. Fourth column is price. And uh, fifth column is the number of sold items. Yeah. And yes, this is a very important point of Unicage. Unicage uses five directories to store data files. Level 1, Level 2, Level 3, Level 4, and Level 5. This is the most essential variable technique that the USP has invented. Quick on the uptake programmers can understand the essential of Unicage by knowing this level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 directories. Level 1. Level 1 stores original data files. For example, data received it from post terminal. Level 2. Level 2 is SSB, uh, space separated text file. Uh, the key point is the uh, data flow itself. LB could obtain data from LB1. LB2 cannot obtain from LB345, obtained it from LB1 only. And another important point is not overwrite to exist files. Data should be appended to files or create a new file to store data. Not overwrite. Next, level three. Level three store normalized SSV files for Unicase applications. Data is obtained from level two only. This is corresponding to normalization of relational databases. And next, LB4 stores data that Unicage application use and not included in level three. For example, uh, for the CZ applications, HTML template files should within the level, level four directories. Uh, level five stores data from Unicage application generated for example, report file, CSP files, PDF files, and Microsoft Excel files, or something like that. This is example of Unicase style files and directories. Mm, level one, two, three, four, five. SHL means shell script. Applications within this directory. Mm. Yeah, uh, in most cases, enterprise systems use relational database. So, most engineers ask Unicage engineers how to achieve the ACID, A-C-I-D. Unicage achieved the ACID with two rules, two rules. First rule is not overwrite to data files. And second rule is original and duplicate server hardware architecture. Unicage uses two PC, two servers, two hardware as one node. Prepare two PCs, two servers, and set up the same environment. To compare the result of these two PCs output, so that assures the reliability. So original and duplicate hardware architecture could achieve host, hot standby system. And uh, if you want more high reliability, original and two duplicated hardware architecture will help you. 
next. Yes, from another perspective of view, performance and scalability. So unicage and simple explanation is, I said, common pipeline, common pipeline, common pipeline, common pipeline, blah, 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 redirect to fire. When you run SATID commands, SATID commands connected with pipelines, at least SATID process run concurrently. If the machine core number is SATID to or over, the SATID processes works really, really concurrently well. It is simple and very effective. In other way, relational database is essentially not good for multi-core scalability. So relational database has uh, some critical, critical paths. <coughs> so that is a uh, cause of slow, cause of low scalability for multi-cores. Unicage, not to use middlewares and not to use database, and works very effective. In most cases, Unicage system works 10 times to 10 times thousands faster than database-based enterprise system. And, and Unicage is good for big data treatment. Um, Unicage system leaps a uh, big benefit from hardware advancement. For example, the number of CPU multi-core increasing, CPU memory bus speed up, memory size increasing, etc. It is directly benefit to Unicage. Yeah, this is uh, coding manners. Mm. And you can download more details from USB lab website, so I skip them. This is a documentation manner two, and you can get it too. Skip. Yes, next step. Uh, I will show you some figures to explain Unicage. Uh, these figures are pretty cool, but however, I'm not afraid, if anything. Pictures are for non-programmers. For example, especially for the business managers. Yes, um, always I use the pictures first, but you are all the programmers, so I swap this uh, described uh, orders. Yeah. This picture described how to communicate with clients and how to proceed development itself. Mm. First, Unicage engineers communicate with clients. Mm. And what clients want to do? What clients want to develop? This is a very important stage. And uh, so, 70% important for businesses. Very great stage. And uh, second, develop a system using a Unicage approach. Mm, that's the shell scripts. So in hours or some days, very short stage, very short times, very short period of development time. Third, improve the system using the real system. So Unicage engineer developed it. And final, check the system with clients and finish. That's the Unicage style development. So, so as I say, Unicage development period is very short. Most time to communicate with clients. Coding time is very, very short. So I heard from USP's president, he developed a 
uh, system for Japanese big electronic company in one day, and the system faster than 10,000 times faster than the legacy system. And it's work on common PC. Mm, that's a crazy story. Yes. This picture shows data flow, but this is very imagination, imagination graph. Uh, this is a simple picture from level one to level five. So this picture tells you one of the main aspects of Unicage. In Unicage applications, application copy target the data as needed, not centralized. Copying data is safe for each other and robust for hardware failure and data loss. This picture describes level one to level five. That's it. And final, this picture shows you more details, the level one to level five, and including deployment images and uh, workflow images. Mm. This is for non-programmers picture. Well, I ex explain USB a little. Very, very unique company, fastest growing enterprise system development software vendor. USP, Universal Shell Program Laboratory, founded at 2005 by a young company. The president is Nobaki Tonaka. Here's a president of basic consulting too. USP is a member of XLAD and the original creator of Unicage software development method. The main clients. I, I skipped the description of each clients. They are all famous com companies. Yeah, the same, so skip. Yes, uh, USP works with some laboratories of national institutes and uh, national university. Hmm, skip. Yes. This is the final step. Let's dive into Unicage programming. Well, I explain how to code the shell script step by step. First, there are three data files, food master, store master, or master files, sales, or sales data transaction file. So master is sales shop master, and food master is kind of food ID and its name. Sales include the store, store ID, date and time when it's sold, kind of food ID, price, and a number of sold items. I will make a shell script to make a report, including a total sales total sales per shop, subtotal sales per items among uh, two dates, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. First, obtain target data from sales transaction file using OAK, like this. Uh, this is a common Unix technique. Uh, Door two mean the column, second column, and uh, 201405, one another, mean the data and time. Next, remove and needed column. So second column and needed, so delete it using delf. Delf to remove with the second column. Next, to recreate sales per items using oak like this. Mm. This is a basic technique. So the number of column 
from four to three. And next. So calculate subtotal power items like this. First, I should sort the data for SM2 command. And SM2, 1, 2, 3, 3, calculate subtotal power items. SM2, 1, 2 means uh, primary keys. And uh, 3, 3 means uh, calculate targets. 1, 2, 3 means uh, number of columns. And next, I want to join the name of store. So I use join one command. Join one command. Join one, the shop name from store master like this. Join works this treatment. So join series command works like the SQL join order. Next. Yeah, store ID is necessary anymore. So, and uh, for next treatment, change the first column to kind of food ID. Using self like this. Uh, self like the oak itself. So this means the oak, bra ha door three, comma door two, comma door, door four. Next, so join the kind of food name using C join one. C join one is the same as join one. Expect that a C join one can merge unsorted transaction files. Join series cannot treat the unsorted data. C join series can treat the unsorted data. Yes. Join series is faster, and C join series is very slower. Next, the kind of food ID is unnecessary more. Remove it, and change the sequence to shop name, kind of food name, and sales. Like this, boom. Hmm. Calculate subtotal per shop using SM4. So, SM3 has SM2, SM4, and SM5. SM4 calculates a subtotal. And next. Yeah, I want to calculate the total sales. Total sales by SM5. One, two, three, three, like this. Very simple. Hmm, alas, decorate output. Add the dollar mark and uh, inserted comma. Mm, in real cases, uh, these days we use HTML output command or PDF generation command or Microsoft Excel update command instead. Yeah, this is a very uh, simple example. And uh, Arrange the one liner to a uh, shell script like this. This is a Unicage application. Yeah, there is a difference in the size of data and complexity. Essential work is like this. Mm, this is a Lambda shell script. LB5 directory store the sales report file. Yeah, and uh, there's some program tips. Most attractive is capital file or directory's name. In Unicage, temporary file should be lowercase name and others should be capital. This is for avoiding the Human accidental file remove. Capital name, we should push shift button to input. Uh, this uh, reader and the effective behavior to avoid accidental file remove. In a unique manner, they prefer to avoid to use shell variables as possible. In shell, 
to store data as variable is not the effective way. Variables scope is not intuitive. Often, shell variables lead coding issues. In Unicage, they prefer to use files instead of variables. The kernel tried to cache disk I.O. so to read from the written files work at uh, on memory speed. And you can see data using uh, pager, rest or cat and more because it is just a text file. <coughs> to use temporary file instead of a variables, uh, variable way. In addition, Unicage engineers prefer to avoid to use shell function. Shell function is one of the issue producer because of the shell specialized scope mechanisms. If we want to make some functions, it is a time to kick around to create a new commands instead of functions. Mm. So Unicage application uh, shell script will be one A4 papers. At longest, it should be within a two A4 papers. If your Unicage application is over two A4 papers, you are wrong on how to understand the issues or wrong shell script in writing, or it is time to kick around to create a new common for their clients for that issues. One of the most important points of Unicage software development method is to understand the target issue well and uh, reveal that there is some space to create some new commands for the issues or, or not. One, one light command, one correct command removes the hundreds of lines from your shell scripts. In past, I met some UNKG engineers who were writing thousands of shell scripts. The approach is completely wrong. So, if you're interested in Unicage and uh, are passionate to try it out, to install OpenUC at Skubai. Uh, so, via PKG or post corrections, or GitHub, download it and copy to your directories. Go to en.usp-lab.com and read tutorials, documents, movies or Amazon UK development method. However, use open USB is a little, little bit buggy. If you want to assess Unicage and Skubai commands, please try to use the Unicage data analytics platforms on Amazon EC2. You can easily try to use it. Open the en usb lovecom and click the Get Unicage Now. <coughs> or, or you can download the free trial version of USB Scubai for FreeBSD, Mac OS X, Red Hat, CentOS, and Debian. These are including manuals and documents in English too. Yeah, I'll ask uh, a little bit more story. Right now, my company, Angus, is a rapid development, advanced development method called the TTT development method. TTT is based on our original shell script based system development method. From the beginning, our approach is in near distance of Unicage. After all, shell script and command based system development method will become increasingly similar in the development style. I, I guess this is my opinion. TTT, including L1 to L5 concept, and have additionally some unique command, like Dodai command and Dodai2 command. Dodai is like a feature like Ruby on Rails. Mm, it will set up baseline directories and file structure, or something like preparation treatment. The structure created by Dodai command is completely path relatively structure and 
very portable by just in copy to another to another. And, and do that command translate the whole structure set up there by the other command into a single command. Mm. And a TTT's naming rule is more restricted rather than Unicage. Yeah, that is another story. So if I get a chance, I will introduce our TTT method in some time. Yeah, this is the last slide. Conclusion. I explained one of the XLAT development method Unicage grateful BSC operating system. The concept of Unicage is not excellent for enterprise system development, but also good as small tool development. In the fact, we have been developing from uh, many tools to enterprise system using this method. And that works very well. Um, to understand the shell, to understand a shell script, to understand the kernel, to understand the issues, to understand how to use the Unix commands, the skill as Unix engineers is directly your system development skill in the Unicage method. Feeling good development method for any Unix engineers. Yes, that was. I appreciate your interest in Unicage. Thank you for your interest. That's it. Any questions? Uh, please. How much mathematics can you do in Unicage? Uh, sorry, pardon? How much math can you do? Mathematics? Mathematics? Just uh, arithmetic, can you do floating points? Uh, what, can you do? What, uh, what can you do with numbers in Unicage? What numbers? Uh, any kind of data. Um, Unicage has LCALC, we call it the LCALC command. That LCALC command uh, treats any kind of some mathematical data. And uh, this is another set of Unicage commands. USP has. Uh, uh, I don't know the correct word then. State uh, statistics. Is it correct? <laughs> they have a set of the statistics commands. Yeah, they have many kind of commands. I don't know the things they cannot do. <laughs> that is just a data. Oh, they can translate it to any kind of data. Yeah, next question. USP does not treat that layers instant. Um, <coughs> so I heard recently that uh, Azure is working on uh, Linux, uh, but it does not work on uh, AIX. Um, that work on uh, OpenBSD, but not FreeBSD. But Mm. In any case, it definitely depends on the Linux. Um, Linux command is not compatible with POSIX. So uh, the troublesome shell script is made on Linux. So the made on uh, BSD and using the A shell, Ash, bin shell. That is not, not troublesome. Mm. And, much, and if, um, so honestly I say, they have no regression test because and the application is very simple. 
So they don't need the regression test. This is just a text data flow. So to find a, a bug point is very easy. So for example, in this case, uh, yeah. For, it's, it's easy, but if you have to do it on every script that you write, it's worse than if you have a regression speed that you can run at the beginning and say, yes, all of my USB tools are going to work correctly on this system. Mm. Honestly, say, I I I didn't hear that problem. Uh, yes, they have they have trouble and sometimes, but that's very easy and uh, a little bit of debug solved the problem. So I don't know where around that. <laughs> Yeah, please. And in case, if it turns out that regression testing is needed, so this system probably lends itself even better to regression testing than most other systems. Because if you have small, simple tools, then you can test very easily. So at least as soon as it's needed, you can do it. And uh, addition, this is a secret story. Uh, USB using the, their original shell, or original shell, U shell. And U shell, I developed it for them. The U shell have debugging feature. U shell have exception treatment feature. <laughs> yeah? Uh, from my experience, uh, one mm, ten, 10 billion records, 10 billion records data file search within the four second. With no indexes, only with the. Yes, no, source. no second. Ah, uh, no index. No. This is a kind of uh, dynamic, uh, dynamic uh, index sort. No. You have no indexes in. No, numbers. just like. Just like text file, and that is on the own memory, and just like grep. Okay, I, I have seen. Okay, it's okay. I'm just curious. Ten billions of uh, lines is not. Uh, it's okay. It's good. It's, uh, one 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 and a half years ago, I did a uh, big treatment using this method, and that the result is very fantastic. <laughs> How oh, takes a file incredible fast <laughs> rather than database. Okay, thank you. Yeah? Do you also use the method for developing interactive applications? Or just for applications that are running in batches somewhere to create reports? Batch? Uh, yeah, I understand the example the examples you have shown create reports. So at the end of the business day, you feed in some data, and then it is processed, and the next morning you have the results. My question is whether you use the same method for developing interactive applications. Yes, yes, no problem. Yes, okay. Yes. So uh, you, you also experience no performance problems there for, for interactive applications. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know the performance problem. This method is very fast, so always like the real time system. Go, spawn, go, spawn, very fast. I'm, I'm asking because uh, to 
tomorrow in the morning, I'm also taking a, a talking about the database system, the searches and manual page databases. Um, I'm programming strictly in C in a completely different style. So yeah. This is already quite efficient, hopefully. But I, I didn't get good performance in interactive usage without using um, indexes. Mm -hmm. So it would, it would be interesting to understand what the, the specific setting is that gives you uh, acceptable performance with such a style, because maybe one can adopt other fields to work as well. I, mm. yeah, I so the question is not yet specific enough to be reached. Yeah, um, so the modern, modern Lachman server uh, can use uh, up to two, two terabyte memories and uh, 64 cores. So the almost cases take file all on the memory. So the, all the core access simultaneously all the data. That, that's the most fastest access method rather than database. Okay, so I, you are just killing the problem with hardware. That's the way to do it, right? Mm. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Um, you said Unicage runs on uh, OpenBSD but not FreeBSD? Yeah, and all kind of Unix. So both? Yeah, both. Oh, okay. So um, originally they use use uh, Linux, and but uh, the present Tonaka find out that uh, BSC is a better solution for their system because uh, the BSC is very simple and first and very st stable. Uh, but that the, the main problem of BSC is the uh, lack of the device driver of InfiniBand. So the high performance computing. They use Linux instead of a BSD. Mm. Uh, that is very busting. Um, any other questions? Nothing. Yeah, is that it?